Have you ever wanted to make a jump pad? Or maybe you felt like making a dash ability. Or maybe just for fun, you wanted to give your bow a little bit of extra kickback. If that's you, then you have come to the right tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit player motion. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to do all of these things and more. The actual process of applying player motion takes hundreds of commands. So for your convenience, I've packaged it all in this little library called Delta. The first step is to download the code here, the link in the description, which you can get by clicking code and then download zip. And it should appear down here at the bottom, which you can then go show in folder to find. To actually install it in your world, you want to select the world you're installing it in, click edit, open world folder, and then navigate to data packs. If you just want the data pack in your world, you can open the downloaded folder, go into Delta main, then drag over Delta data pack, just like so. It'll take a second to copy it over and it'll be in your world. Now let's say that instead you have your own data pack already and you want to combine it with this one. You want to open up your data pack, go into data, and then open up the Delta data pack. Go into data again, and you'll want to drag over delta and random. Then finally, you want to go into Minecraft, tags, functions, and then load.json. And you'll want to add in the following functions. Delta internal slash technical slash load, and then random private slash load. The final step is to install the resource pack, which you can do by going to Options, Resource Packs, Open Pack Folder, and then just drag the resource pack in. If you want to combine it with your own resource pack, I recommend using this website right here. I'll put a link to it in the description. Let's test and see if it worked. You should be able to type slash scoreboard players set dollar sign strength delta dot api dot launch. And we can put any number here we want. Um, we'll try 20,000. And then if we type slash function delta api slash launch looking, as you can see, it launches us in the direction we set or with the strength we set. So if we change it to, let's just say we do 5,000 and then try it again, it'll be a much weaker launch. In an ideal scenario, you want to be setting the strength and doing the launching at the exact same time. So that's why we have it in a chain command block here. So we have setting the strength and then running the launch command. And when we step on this pressure plate, it launches us in the air. Now, an important note is that the direction that this launches you is whatever the rotation context of the command is. So I could change this to be, for example, facing the block behind me. And when I do that, it launches me opposite of wherever I'm looking. Or... I could force it to be a certain Y rotation. So I could have it be like negative 30. Then no matter which way I'm looking up or down, it'll always launch me upwards at a 30 degree angle while still keeping whatever horizontal rotation I have. So what if we want to launch the player with specific X, Y, and Z coordinates? Well, in that case, we can use launch X, Y, Z. And I should probably note, I am executing as the player and at the player here. And you do need to do that to be able to run these functions. So for this one, instead of setting strength, you will set X, Y, and Z, all with a dollar sign in front of them. And you'll use that same delta.api.launch scoreboard objective. And what that does is it specifies the strength in each of those directions. So we have negative X, and then a high Y, and then zero Z. So when I step on this pressure plate, it launches me back. And regardless of what direction I'm facing, it always launches me in that same direction. And just a little note, you should always set the X, Y, and Z variables every single time you call this function, even if they are zero, because there's a chance that another pack might set it to something else. Now it's time to get into some of the limitations of this pack. If I try to do something like particle uh, Minecraft explosion, you'll see there's no particle visible. And the reason for that is that this pack actually needs to remove explosion particles to make all of these effects completely invisible and seamless. But to make up for that, it manually recreates the particles and allows you to still use them through these API calls. So instead, if you just type this function right here, you can still get the explosion particle. And same with the explosion emitter effect. If you use this function right here, 
you'll get yourself some explosions. And you may be wondering, what if I want to summon a bunch of particles, like the particle command lets you do? Well, in that case, before you call the command, make sure to set these scores right here. So count, dx, dy, and dz, all under the scoreboard delta.api.particle. And with dx, dy, dz, this is about a scale factor of 100, so 2000 is about the same as 20. And when I run this, it summons 100 explosion particles. And let's say I just change the dy to zero, just so you can see, it makes it all flat and on that same plane. Finally, I want to end this off with a fun little example of how you shouldn't use delta. So here I've made a moon gravity thing, and all it does is it just gives you a slight upward push every single tick. And as you can see, it works pretty neat. Except when I press the lag button. All of a sudden, I get launched into air. So what's happening here is when it lags, the motion cuts out for a bit. Then the server tries to quickly catch up and does all the explosions at once catapulting me into the air. So it's not necessarily the end of the world. I wouldn't advise using this sort of thing for anything where you're running it every tick. Instead, just opt for more uh, instantaneous bursts of motion, like this. Boop. If you make something cool with this, please join the Discord, send it to me. I'd love to see it. And if we get enough submissions, I might even make a video showing off everyone's creations. As always, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're able to get something out of this, maybe make something cool with it. And I hope you have a great day.